Hi guys, how are you all doing? You're back with Sam at Bright Vision Videos and today I'm continuing the Dark Souls Level 1 playthrough series. Uh, now the first thing I'm going to do before I cut to the boss battle is show you how to get the three key items I think you need as a level 1. So the first is the Ring of Favour and Protection. Now you get this by killing Lautrec and my tip for this is just to simply kick him off Firelink uh, because if you fight him for it, the chances are at this level he's going to kick the shit out of you. So uh, my best tip is Equip your straight sword hilt you get at the start of the game uh, instead of your weapon because if you accidentally hit him it's not going to do enough damage uh, to prompt him to attack you. So you just keep kicking him as you can see here. Uh, it takes a while but kick him enough times and look as you see there I accidentally hit him um, but because I'm using the straight sword hilt it's not hurting him enough to aggro him. Uh, but keep kicking just persist with it and eventually he will fall off fire link. There we go nearly. One more, and there, he's gone. Now once you've done that, you then uh, back out of the game, uh, go back to the main menu because the item doesn't appear straight away doing it this way. So, uh, quick rest at the bonfire. Not sure why I did that, to be honest. Uh, but you back out. Oh, I think I'm checking, actually. Yeah, you can, you can check. Sometimes if you rest at the bonfire, it is there, but it's not this time. So I have to back out of the game. And then you just simply load back in, and there it is. The items is dropped, 5 humanity and the ring of favour and protection. Now I'll put that on and as you can see, there we go, it, it does increase your HP. Not by much but as you'll see when I go to get the dragon crest shield, it is enough to save you from th certain things. Now Havel's ring, this is the other thing I think you need uh, because it allows you to wear armour, carry heavy weapons and still be able to roll. So my tip for this guy is simply level up your pyro hand a fair bit because he's very weak to fire. And that way you can keep him at a distance because it's uh, he's a difficult person to fight close range because he can kill you in one hit. So uh, keep him at a distance. Uh, use your pyro. It doesn't take that many hits to kill him. Ooh, lucky to survive that actually because if that was dual wield I'd be dead right now. But like I said, little dodge there. You keep hitting him with the pyro and eventually I think it took five or six blasts from the pyromancy. Uh, but I think my power hand is plus 9 at this point. So, around there is what you're looking at for an easy fight against this guy. Should be the last one. There you go. Oh, no, there's one more. So, he will immediately drop the item you're after, which is uh, Havel's Ring. Put this on. You can then uh, wear some better armour uh, and still still fast roll so that's another essential item I think you need if you're gonna do a level 1 playthrough or just a playthrough in general it's a very useful item to have now the third thing I would recommend for a level 1 is the Dragon Crest shield now when you go and get this I would recommend you spend all your souls before you go because there's a good chance that getting this shield can get you killed but it's definitely worth it in the end because it's one of the best shields to have just as any character, not just as a level 1, because because my level 100 had this shield up until recently when I got a Black Knight shield. So it can see you through an entire playthrough, maybe it's like 2 or 3 playthroughs. So it's definitely something I'd recommend. But like I said, go there uh, with the realisation that it's probably going to get you killed. But it's this shield here, to the left of the Undead Dragon in the Valley of the Drakes. Now it immediately aggroes him. As you can see here, had I not been wearing the Ring of Favour protection, I would now be dead the shield and just leg it out of the Valley of the Drakes, or in, in most cases die and respawn at the nearest bonfire. But it's definitely worth the risk because this shield is, is brilliant. So now I'm going to cut to the live commentary with the fight against the Capra Demon uh, and you'll see from this, this is before I got all my equipment so I've not got my Dragon Crest shield or my Havel's ring yet but I am still level 1. So I will now cut to the live commentary and I hope you enjoy it. Right. Just waiting for Will here. He should be on his way soon. Um, we're about to go for the Capra Demon. This is quite a tense battle because it's very close quarters. And he's not on his own in there. He's got a couple of assistants. So, this could be quite tense. We shall see. All depends how strong our weapons are against him. I know he's weak to fire, so we'll see what happens. Now I'm just going to let Will handle this. Since uh, his axe is very strong. There we go, kill these dogs, and I'm just going to go and see if I... I'm not sure if I have the key to let out the uh, guy who can teach his sorcery, so I'm just going to go and 
check. In fact, there's not much point. I don't think I will have the key. But may as well check anyway. <laughs> Which door is it now? Is it this one? Yeah, there he is. Skip through his commentary. No, I don't have the key just yet. So I will leave him for now. It's a bit pointless anyway, because I'm using pyromancy and not... Not sorcery. So we're going to head down to the Capra Demon. Uh, we're about to get severely ambushed, so... Fingers crossed we'll be able to handle this. Let's just head down here. And here comes the amb- Whoa! I forgot how many there were down here. Jesus. Oh, clearly not a problem for Will. Or me by that matter. That went a lot smoother than it probably should have. So, just pick up this item. Some black leather armour. This will, this will be my armour set for, until I get a Paladin armour now. This black leather armour, because it's very light. I can level it up. And it'll do me some good until I get the Paladin armor, which will be a while yet because I have to get through Anna Londo, kill Nito, etc. So, just put a, I look a bit gay here, but no, well, it's fashionable. So, is Will ready? Will, are you ready? Hmm. Well, it appears Will is currently getting some hate mail because he has been doing a few invasions as a level one, and I think out of five invasions, he's got five victories, and he's now got some hate mail accusing him of being a hacker. So, while he deals with that, uh, let's go for a quick wander. I can't quite equip that just yet, but when I get Havel's Ring I should be alright. But can I roll now? Yes, I can fast roll now. So, slightly better equipped now for this fight, a bit more armour. And Will, I believe, have you finished? Yep, Will's finished replying to his hate mail. So, let's go. Gotta love Dark Souls hate mail. It's always a good laugh. Right, here he is. Shit! Dodge, dodge, dodge! Run, run, run! Swing, swing, swing! Will's good. Have you got the dogs? Will's got the dogs. Alright, give him a quick heal. He's getting a bit battered. It. Shite! Ooh. Nice little uh, ninja dodge there. Right, throw, throw, throw! Come on, Will. Give him a swing. There we go, swing. And he's dead. Boom. That's him killed. So we now have the key to the depths. We can progress further. So that's it for this episode of the level 1 playthrough. Uh, there's going to be lots more to come as well as lots of other different types of videos. So if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, check out the other videos. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.